Today I thought I'd do a quick video and give you an update on the ZX-10R Ninja. So it's uh, it's May 2020 and I just got back from a ride. Uh, took the, Zin the Ninja out and a quick update on this bike. I just cl went over 3,000 miles. Let's have a look at that. Just went over 3,000 miles. So I thought I'd give an update on that, uh, you know, what my thoughts are on the bike after 3,000 miles. You know, every time I ride this bike, you know, I just, I just, you know, it's just an amazing experience. Now that I've, um, you know, owned it about for three years, it's not that many miles. One's about 1,000 miles a year, but, you know, I usually use the, um, the V-Strom, you know, for my commuting in the Bay Area. But as I reflect on this bike, I think this is a fantastic bike for California freeways, right? So we, in the Bay Area specifically, we got a lot of nice freeways here, and it's just amazing power, and it's really built for, in addition to the racetrack, it's also really built for for the freeway, right? If you want, uh, you know, speedy, uh, rel you know, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable bike in the world, but it's got so much power, it's just built, it makes you feel confident on, on the freeways. And although I've only done 3,000 miles, I know a, a guy that had an, a Yamaha R1, right? He He's a dealer. He owns a dealership up in Fremont. He's clocked over 100,000 miles on, 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 a, on the R1, right? So Super Sports, would I recommend a Super Sports for daily commuting? No, I would not. But just given the power of this back, you know, that the, this bike has and and the ability of it to cover long distances very very quickly on the, the california freeway system i think it's, it's a good bike for if you want to kind of leverage in some of the power right and go you know do some high speed riding the the, the freeway system is, is fantastic would i use this like um but 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 when i compare this to kind of non uh you know freeway non-highway systems like australia we didn't have that many freeways there i wouldn't really recommend it there i think you can get power by with you know a 600 uh super sports but if you have a leader bike you know if you have like freeways if you're like for example like at atlanta i think if you're living in atlanta in, in the bay area you know, Los Angeles, San Diego, it's just optimal for, you know, the, the freeway system. Um, I've got my um, my son's M3 parked right behind it, right? So that M3 gives quite a bit of, you know, excellent performance, but the cost of entry into the M3 is so high compared to, to you know, the cost of entry into a, a leader bike, right? So, I mean, I, I, I drink, I've driven that M3 quite a, quite a number of times, but I still enjoy my... In terms of if you're looking for value for money, value for performance, nothing beats a leader bike. And there are so many good leader bikes out there. I mean, I like the Ninja. Uh, I like the Kawasaki brand. But, you know, if I got a, if I had a good deal to get on the R1 or the, the Honda Fireblade, I would I would definitely get those those bikes. I think leader bikes is just, just amazing, fantastic bikes to own. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update. I'm still very happy with the, the ZX-10R um it's a great bike it's just amazingly uh, you know amazingly built for the for the for the freeways in terms of getting from point a to point b comfortably and quickly and then the other benefit of this bike is there's not much i mean when you buy this bike besides putting on the exhaust right besides putting on the exhaust i really haven't done much on this bike the only thing i've done is i put on this this um this uh, black uh, windscreen, it just, you know, gives it a little bit more wind protection. But it's pretty much built for, you know, it's, it's uh, for you don't have to tinker much with, with uh, wind buffeting. It's pretty comfortable. It gives you wind, good wind protection uh, compared to the V-Strom, right? In the V-Strom, I had to tinker, tinker around with the comfort there, the, the, the wind buffeting. But this is pretty much good to go. You get a, a Super Sports, either a 600 or a leader bike. They're good to go out of the box. Um, Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. You guys have a good one. Cheers, mate.